posterior subcapsular cataract in a high myopic eye which had arcade done about 14 years ago you see more than 24 radial cuts on the cornea very careful entry is done into the entry chamber with the 2.8 millimeter keratome with a small congenital flap the keratome enters the anterior sclera and goes across the limbers and the cornea the IOL power is calculated based upon the true net power of the pentacam which takes into consideration the anterior K reading as well as the posterior corneal curvature readings. Only the central and the first string of the true net calculations were taken into consideration and Barrett Universal 2 gives excellent estimation of the IOL that's needed. The antechamber is refilled with Bisco before the rexis was completed because AC was shallowing in spite of the tunnel floor entry technique. Ensured that a good sized rex is obtained so that the zonules are not traumatized during nuclear prolapse and ensuring a free floating anterior capsule. The anterior end of the tunnel is enlarged with the 2.8 millimeter keratome so that the endothelium is not damaged at all during nuclear delivery. This does not increase significantly the SIA. The SIA of this tunnel would be 0.4 and on extension it will become 0.6. That is the SIA uh, we could expect by such a tunnel construction. The nucleus, epinucleus mass is rotated and uh, nucleus is bisected before it is visco sandwiched out of the eye. The 27 gauge cannula that supports the nucleus in front is continuously injecting visco so that rub against the endothelium is avoided. Endothelial loss is least in this technique when compared to any other technique of cataract surgery. The aspiration of epinucleus, in this case there is certain amount of epinucleus because the hydrodissection did not happen the way I wanted. It was a hydrodelineation. You saw the golden ring and uh, anyway being the soft cataract it was very easy to remove the uh, cortex very easily. The debris that is stuck on the posterior capsule is polished with the back of the Simco cannula. The Simco cannula irrigates as well as aspirates the cortex as you can see there and uh, polishing has to be complete and all all uh, cortical elements which is stuck to the capsule has to be aspirated otherwise it will give post-operative inflammation which can be clinical or even subclinical and uh, the lens is implanted with a slit cartridge technique in a myope I usually plan to target around 0.5 or 0.75 adapter so that they have good intermediate vision. The visco has to be aspirated completely from the anterior chamber, from the angle region and from the back of the endothelium and uh, the Simco cannula can be easily taken behind the lens to polish and uh, the capsule as well as to remove the leftover visco. Uh, the reverse flushing will create a fountain of fluid which can wash the undersurface of the lens so that there is no visco left inside the antechamber. The angle has to be specifically washed to get rid of the visco that has gone there. That's the end of surgery. There is no need to hydrate the tunnel. There is no opening of the, rex, the RK knives and patient had excellent post-operative recovery. There is no need to bandage this eye and uh, that's the end of surgery. As you can see there are about more than 24 irregularly shaped uh, RK incisions. This is the first post-operative period, cornea looks very good, only the tunnel area has certain amount of edema, the central cornea is absolutely clear. Thank you.